So I've done three of these videos and I love to look back at my past work. Alrighty, and I think, you know, people, they've been well received in the past, but this is gonna be a little different. It's not a exact sketchbook per se. I'm, I'm a hoarder. You got some loose leaf here, actually right where this camera was a second ago under there. Sorry, I have a tripod on it. That is all reference loose leaf paper. I also have this whole cabinet right here. Let's lower these a little. This is all filled with just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces of paper, sketches, drawings, random other things. And in this video, I can't go through it all. I just wanted to kind of explain how much of a hoarder I am and I never throw anything out, all my sketches. But we're gonna go through a lot of the loose leaf stuff from really long time ago recently because there's some gems and you know, like the sketchbook tours, I think people, including myself, like looking back in time and seeing the progression of my art or just to see, you know, a little window into, you know, five years ago. So we're gonna sit down at the classic spot. You know, we got this all set up. Um, and I don't really know what the flow of this video is gonna be, but we're just gonna kind of go through everything. There's not gonna be really a chronological order. I mean, look at all this stuff, first of all. We're gonna talk about that. Quick disclaimer, we gotta talk about copying artwork. It's a crazy time in the world with social media, YouTube, it's very prevalent. It's very present with thousands of artists posting work and you know, that's just equals people copying work. You know, there's so much to absorb and you know, a lot of shady stuff goes on sadly, just like writing or, you know, it, it's just plagiarism and stealing intellectual property. Um, there's been cases recently where kids have taken my artwork and put them on t-shirts and tried to sell them. And so that's never good and those kids will never get far and you'll never get far copying and stealing people's work. It's a disservice to yourself, but I don't wanna be all negative. There's a really awesome and beneficial side, which is actually the majority where people tag me and their paintings inspired by SLU or I watched this video by SLU and got inspired to paint. And giving credit where credit due, where credit is due is just exactly how it should be done. I copy artists all the time. It's how I try to do new techniques and improve, but you always have to, you know, explain the credit and who you're inspired by and the, the painting itself, the artist. So that's usually what goes on and it's it's awesome when that happens. And I love seeing that and I comment and like all those things on Instagram. But you know, the other side where people steal stuff and bite your characters and steal your work, it just sucks. But I'm obviously sharing this to the public, so it's my own fault. I just thought we'd talk about that and uh, Let's, let's talk about this wackiness. I bet you don't even know what's going on here. You know, it's juicy. We're gonna switch down to the top view and talk about all of this. So diving in, there's no unification to any of all of this jumble of mess. It's just random loose leaf things I've kept. A lot of this was at my house because I don't have enough room here to store and you just forget about them and they add up and some of these are mega, mega old, like these first ones. 2009, this is signed, holy macaroni. This is like the first experience I ever had with painting. Look at how unsquare this is cut, it's hilarious. But you know, I found Brandon McConnell on YouTube, who's a spray paint artist, when I was like 13, 14, and I tried it out, and I did a bunch. Um, that was like my first experience with painting ever. I did Legos, I was a pretty, like, I guess, creative kid, but not really until I fell in love with spray paint. And I actually, here's an Easter egg, I have a YouTube channel that's still up, where I posted the time lapses of these 11 years ago. Uh, Space Painter 77, you can check it out. I'm sure I'm overlaying video right now, but you know, these are pretty epic. Uh, I had such a blast doing these and I was so young. They're kind of destroyed now, but at least I still have them. Also was doing a bunch of stencil work, obviously here, um, that I still do today. So stencils go way back for me, I love them. Bob Marley, we got some Darth Vader. So these were all when I was like 13, 14, I think. Pretty crazy, so look at that. Nice one on the end. These are little loose leaves from when I was in Italy. Um, this is a statue, I believe. You know, these are all quick sketches, a guy on a horse. Uh, this is the statue of David, super famous that I got to sketch for 30 minutes. I was super amped that I got to do that. I think I've shown that before on my channel. This is a gem, actually. This is a great graffiti piece that turned into like a big mural, the biggest mural I did at that time. And I really liked it, cool video. My buddy actually filmed me. Um, the three videos I've gotten filmed for me of couple hundred, this was one of them. So that was super epic project. You know, this is a great example of me practicing when I was in school. I got this sequence of just so many faces, um, back to back to back, um, just not paying attention in class and just sketching these random crazy faces. Super epic though, love them. I think this was right at the end of 2017, the beginning of 2018. Um, yeah, some good stuff, you know, just always doodling. This is a drawing of the slab. 
epic, nice little drawing. Dude, this is a sketch I think my sister started, I finished. And these aren't even drawings, these are just nice printed out pieces of paper of my graffiti. I had an independent study at boarding school, which is mean, just means you have your own class that you make and they let me spray paint and study graffiti and the evolution of graffiti as an art form and like youth pop culture. And so these are all nice pictures of these sketches. I think I have some sketches, but you know, these are all on my YouTube channel. These are as far back as this current YouTube channel goes. So you can check out those, those I have time lapse. Own all of them. Random sketch. Oh wow, this is, um, yeah, this is when I went, wow, I haven't released this video either. That's hilarious. 2016, I went with JT, who was from, uh, who went to school at UVM. And we did a, we did a video project where we were in the water actually and I was painting canvas and he was playing his, his Rhodes piano and he actually dropped his laptop in the water. We just missed that footage, but it was hilarious. Wow, this is an epic drawing I forgot about as well. I haven't gone through this, as you can tell, by the way. I did this actually, I think, when I was talking with Sive on a podcast, that was like a year or two ago. Random tags, looking good. This is a nice slew graffiti sketch. This might've been at boarding school in high school, like five years ago. And this is all mega old stuff, holy crap. This is, yeah, I have this hanging in my house, this massive um, wood piece, but I did it at boarding school. This is a receipt, oh no, I took Chinese in high school. This is a page that I sketched on that I liked, I guess. That's hilarious, there's some Mandarin on the back. I took Chinese for three years, don't know a lick of it. So this is that sketch, look at that, bam. And this crown came out epic, but that's pretty cool, there you go. This is also a sketch that was from back then. This, this was one of the cleanest graffiti pieces I've ever done, I think, and I was super young when I did it, maybe 18, um, and that's epic. You'll see a little clip of that, I'm sure. This is just a treasure trove, I'm having a blast. If people are super bored, I'm sorry about this, but uh, it's it's so cool for me. It's gold, it's gems. Just a Wells piece, I, uh, yep, that was a graffiti. This is all kind of from boarding school stuff. Rocco, I did this uh, graffiti piece in my garage that I have, I don't know if I have a time lapse of, but I definitely have a picture of it somewhere. Random, these are, these are really old, I don't, I didn't date it sadly, but I think this is like 20. 2012 or something. This is 2014, a mural I did in my sister's room. There's a video on that that maybe you have seen. These are just bubble letter tags. I did this at the independent study at foreign school as well. <laughs> just a crazy, crazy weird thing. This is so weird and crazy. I don't, it doesn't, it's not dated sadly, but definitely High school, boarding school, this is a, you can tell I was in school here because I got that lined, pulled paper that I, I don't remember when I use it. Yeah, look at 2009, holy crap. That is so old, my dogs. Wow, this is so dusty. I have a picture of this as well. This was from the old studio in my garage way long ago, 2010, 11, modern life. Here's another super duper sketch graffiti sketch. There's so much spray paint on it, if you can tell by the texture, but looking absolutely juicy. This is an awesome sketch page with a fine liner, as you can tell. No date again. I hate it when I don't date it. I feel like I did date it somewhere though. Wow, look at this. Jeez. Sketch of Obama. Way back when. This must have been right when he was president or something. 2009. More graffiti, hello my name is, 2014. This is, I did for my roommate, this is epic, P. Hoove. Um, more graffiti, so this is when I was into graffiti. I didn't even start doing characters and stuff. At that boarding school time, pretty much 2013, 2014. Um, yeah, nice, oh, it's a nice colorway. With some city in the background, 2014. I can dig it. Oh, here's another one. This was the first piece I did at the Graffiti Independent Study at my boarding school. I remember that. It was huge. Um, it was so fun. This is probably the most epic one that I did. Um, the alien with the slough coming out. I might have to redo this one day because it's so awesome. Random drawings. Ray gun, I love the ray gun, I did it so much. I did one 
I don't think I have a video of it, but I did a canvas after. I don't know which came first, the canvas I did or the um, mural I kind of did on a thing of plywood. More random faces. I loved Chris Dyer when I was younger, so a lot of those random faces are Chris Dyer. This was actually, this was actually the first thing I did during my graffiti independent study. This was a character, even though I just said I didn't do many characters. I love graffiti characters, and I did this before the graffiti, like a week or so before. Looks like some Grateful Dead type, yep, bear. And this is more recent, this is, look at how wrinkly it is, it's so sad, but this is an epic, one of my sickest videos actually that, you know, people don't really see or don't really care about with JT. Um, I did this, we did this video again with his Rhodes where he was playing in real time and in the background, we edited it so I was doing a time lapse of this create piece, C-R-E-A-T-E. -E. Uh, me and JT did a bunch of epic projects together. Um, yeah, that's nostalgic. And then in this pile of craziness, this is like the sickest piece ever. This is um, just an amazing illustration I did in Boulder. You know, this is the same time I did the original, original slew character. Um, I talked about this in the other sketchbook and I forgot I actually had it. Um, so yeah, this is so epic. It's a little bent, which is sad, but I'll have to frame this one day because this is an OG, one of my favorite most precious pieces. So that kind of leaves that for the craziness of pile. And let's go into the, the file cabinet uh, because there's hundreds more and we'll just keep this rolling. And a lot of this stuff you've already seen, especially this top drawer, and I'm gonna go through it quick because we just won't have time. It's like a study oil painting. You know, I've seen this watercolor video. This is an oil painting actually, nice oil painting. These are all past videos. I got a lot of reference in here from old stencil projects. You know, these are a lot of sketches from Rome, um, from the Met, thumbnails, landscape, and so I think I've showed those all before. So there's a lot of stuff in here, especially under here. A bunch of craziness, but um, more old stuff. Older, older is here. These are a lot of figure drawings. So this is 2018. This was a video actually on my channel, a left and right hand challenge. I did this with the right hand. I don't know where the left one is. It's probably somewhere in here. But, wow, look at that. This is uh, Victor that I sketched. Here's the, here's the left hand. I did that all with my left hand, if that's on frame. That's an older video. You can see how yellow this paper is. This is figure drawing from 2018. You know, more figure drawing, more wackiness, super weird. And there's like literally hundreds in here. I'm holding all this stuff back. You know, figure drawing, and it goes, goes deep all on both sides. Let's see if I could just stand up. You know, this is just shapes, practicing shapes, more shapes. A Lego piece, you know, that kind of looks nice naked people um yeah and if you're interested in completely figure drawing stuff which this is the majority like literally just hundreds oh this i used to practice in the studio let's look at this stuff well, this is stuff i did on my own these are pretty nice actually that's like the uh, seven or eight head person they're so yellowed out right now it's crazy this is a wacky sketch I did with my buddy. Um, this is from that class I took. Twenty minutes gesture-y figure drawing. So those are cool. Um, yeah, I, I know this video is gonna be so long. I'm, you know, I don't like making twenty-minute videos, so. Maybe I'll stop right here. This is a really nice drawing. I love this drawing, 20 minutes, 2018. So yeah, hopefully, you know, maybe you, you found some more cool stuff from my history. You know, these are obviously different than a sketchbook. This is like practicing rather than, you know, getting ideas out, if you know what I mean. Draftsmanship, this is all about draftsmanship. Three different random heads. This is all 2017. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, if you want to see more of this stuff, hopefully you enjoyed 
seen all this wacky stuff. I have one more sketchbook that's really, really old. It's only graffiti. It's like really old. Maybe I'll do that also. Um, people seem to like these. Appreciate you watching. I got a crazy painting project coming up. It's going to be so epic. See you there.